on, guys. It's time for a mail vlog. A chill Saturday night mail vlog. Sorry we missed our last couple of updates to our vlogs. We just have been super busy. Sometimes life gets a little crazy and then you can't post, but we will try to post like daily as much as we can if we miss like one vlog or two vlogs here and there we're sorry well original goal is to do every other day and we're gonna try to do every day and we've been doing really good with every day but like we said you know it's yeah. just sometimes life like, happens yeah <laughs> and some stuff came up for us and we've been super busy but mm -hmm. we're also we'll get back to it to be giving away the space shuttle again the what? person never answered us Are you open the doors yeah yeah. So the person who won never answered us, so we'll give it away to someone else, I guess. Yeah, so if you want to win this, go ahead, comment on the vlog, and let us know which one of our animals is the favorite. Is it Thor? Is it Kenobi? Is it Simon? Is it Aphrodite? Is it Gizmo? What? No, I'm just wondering who people, like, their favorite is. Mm, yeah, but... Kenobi's really special to me because he was my first dog, but me and Thor just have, like, I guess I have the connection with Kenobi, but I don't know. Thor's just my little doodle bear. Even though I came up with the nickname doodle bear. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Uh uh. <laughs> Thorsky, See this? Thorsky doodle, doodle Talk bear. Talk to the hand, because I'm how about not going to do a handstand. How about we read some letters? Okay. Oh, look who's here. Hi, Dee Boo. Boo! Apple juice! Okay. This first letter comes from Yanelli. I think that's what it says. Mm. Simon Tail. Simon Tail. Oh, these are some prank, prank ideas. Yeah. Please record. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. Team Nikki rules, it says at the end. Are but sure they're all prank ideas. Team John. I'm sure. You want to check I'll this one more time? Yeah. I don't make it up. Oh, Unlike he spelled, you, he spelled, he spelled John's name wrong. Unlike you, you'll just, like, the letter it's will say John, Team Nikki. It's spelled John, not Nikki. No, like, yeah. John will get letters and they'll say Team Nikki, and John will just read Team John. I don't lie, like you. I, they won't even say Team John. Sometimes I just say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the whole mess of stuff. Oh, wow. DJ, you have very nice handwriting. Hi, Nikki and John. My name is DJ. I've never written to you before, but my favorite prank is the ninja prank. Which? That was pretty funny. I live in Ohio, and I'm 14 years old. I have a cat named Oliver. Cool. Oliver. I wonder what Oliver looks like. My favorite pet... Maybe he's orange, huh. like the movie or Look, Oliver. My what? favorite pets of yours are Thor, Kenobi, Simon, and Aphrodite, but I like all of your pets. I've been watching your show for about a year now. Sorry, Nikki, but I'm Team John. Oh! oh you, got, you got the proof on this one? <laughs> well, at least we're one for one. <laughs> John, keep making GTA 5 and Minecraft videos. I will. You should also check out my Twitch TV channel, John's Game Channel, where I stream once or twice a day. I will be getting an Xbox 360. Gross. Wow. That sucker really Ew! vulgarness to the max. Nose itch to burp. Works every time. Ugh. Maximum combo. John, could you please write down on paper your online name and autograph a photo of both of you and please send it back to me. Uh, dear Nikki, you've got to catch up with John. He's got three pranks on you, I think. Cool. Well, DJ, we could definitely send you back um, a picture. He was kind enough to send us uh, an envelope with a, a stamp on it, so... We can do that for you, no problem. And if you guys want us to sign stuff for you and send it back, um, you know, just make sure you put uh, a self-addressed envelope to yourself with a stamp in it. And the picture you want us to sign. And the picture or anything you want us to sign in the letter, and we will mail it back to you. Um, but we get so many requests to do it that, like, we can't, like, just buy 100 stamps and then mail out stuff to you guys because stamps are actually ridiculously expensive these days but we tried and it got a little too yeah for we us. will send stuff back to you guys if you send us an envelope with a stamp i mean it's really important for us to like be really good youtubers to you guys and do what we say and we really appreciate you guys watching so it's not very hard for us to just fill something, something out put it in the envelope and send it out to you um, so as long as you do a little bit of work yourselves, you could have an autograph from us. And my gamer tag is Nikki and John. N i k k a n d j o h n. It might. You left out the i. N i k k i. 
My gamer tag is Nikki and John. It's N I K K I A N D J O H N. But my my friends list is always full. I'm always deleting people who go offline and don't come back on. But the best thing to do is just to send me a message and be like, "Hey, John," in big capitals for the first part of the message, so I know you're sending me a message. Thanks for the letter. Thank you. All right, this letter is a big letter with some royal stamps on it. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Ooh, there's a postcard in here. Bournemouth. Wow. Looks like a pretty place. Cool. Very cool. Oh, that one says read last, Nikki. Okay. Dear Nikki and John, I'm Stuart from Bournemouth in England, here again. You may remember me from Mail Vlog 9. Yeah, but don't worry if you can't. I will tell you that Bournemouth is called Bournemouth because it is the mouth of the Bourne st stream. I hope you guys Makes are doing sense. well. I have sent you a postcard which shows Bournemouth to put on your fridge. I still enjoy watching your prank, prank videos and vlogs, and I always eagerly and patiently wait for the next one. I thought it was amusing when the lizard pooped on Nikki, <laughs> but I wouldn't be amused if it happened to me. So I would laugh after it happened, but I wouldn't then rush, but then I would rush to get changed. I hope all the animals are well and I'm very sorry to hear about Harp. But at least you gave her a good life. Thank you. I also hope you can feature the reptiles in a vid soon. I for one would be very interest interested. Anyway, I must wrap this up and now say Keep having fun and pranking and vlogging. You definitely both seem to enjoy it. Thank you for reading my letters. I hope you like the postcard. Take care. Regards, Stuart. Well, thank you, Stuart. And then I have this here. Hi, Nikki. A quick note to say I hope your leg feels better. Oh, from my autoimmune disease. I was sorry to hear about your pain. Stuart, have a good Christmas. Thank you. I hope you had a great Christmas, too. Thanks for the letter, Stuart. Okay, this comes from La Punte, California, which is actually not that far away from us. Oh, look, they're like... Little licorices? Sour ranches. What type of those are? Sour punch straws. Sour punch straws. You use them to... Sink. Haven't you had those before? They're yummy. Yes. Dear Nikki and John, my name is Anthony... What you guys should know by now, because this is my third letter to you guys, no offense. Well, thank you for being such an awesome fan, Anthony. Mm -hmm. The new prank that are the newest pranks that are my favorite are that are, are on Nikki are the bloody shower prank, Saran Wrap, St. Patty's Day, 2013, and I make sure that I like all of your videos. Oh well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Questions: Do you guys know where I can buy an air horn? Um. Yeah. Boat store. Boat stores, Amazon.com, um, Bass Pro Shop. Anywhere where you find, it's it's technically a, a signaling device, a safety device, and it's really loud, so when you're out in the middle of nowhere and your boat doesn't have a horn, you can use that as a horn and people will hear you. So anywhere you find boating stuff, safety stuff like that, you can find them. And they are very, very loud, so don't just go like doing them in people's face because it's loud. Have you guys ever been to a Denny's restaurant? Yes. Of course. Yes. And <laughs> Nikki's pants ripped. That wasn't Denny's, was it? Uh-huh. That was the Denny's? That was the Denny's on we Sunset. Didn't, we or didn't, Hollywood. We went there because my pants were... No, wait. Okay, I had to use the bathroom. We weren't eating there. Mm -hmm. We were driving to the Saddle Ranch up from Corona. And then I went to use the bathroom, and when I was getting back in the car, my pants ripped. Mm -hmm. And we had to go buy me pants. When we were meeting Angry Love 77. Nikki, when you were little, were you the crack up? Like the class clown or goofy? Um, for Probably. a little while. Um, like when I was younger, younger, I was. I had lots of friends. I was goofy. I was little tomboy. And then I went to Catholic school and it crushed the free spirit out of me. And then I was scared of everyone and everything. <laughs> cool. Uh, and John, were you the crack up in your class? Because I am the crack up. Uh, yeah, I would say I was kind of the very much the class clown. Some teachers feared me, others hated me. Some teachers really liked me, though. Um, but yeah, I had, uh, I don't know, there was a couple teachers in high school that I really just didn't get along with because I was just so, like, jibber-jabbery talky all the time. But I also honestly feel like those are two of the worst teachers I've ever had in my entire life. So I think that they were terrible teachers and they just didn't know how to deal with people like me who are kind of over the top and always bouncing off the walls. 
P.S. The picture I sent you was of Chucky and Tiffany, not clowns. Oh, like Chucky and Tiffany, the Chucky doll, the Tiffany doll that could murder people if they were real. Who's Tiffany? I think it's his girlfriend, isn't it? The Chuck wife is named yeah. Tiffany? I've never seen any of the Chucky movies. Really? So you're not afraid of Chucky dolls? Uh-uh. Hmm. I remember seeing a Chucky movie when I was really little and it just terrified me and then I watched it when I was like a teenager and I thought it was just like over the top funny, so. Yeah. Thank you for writing, Anthony. We appreciate it. Thank you. Should I fart? No, you should not. Okay. <laughs> Thor, when you fart, do you look at your butthole in like an amazed look that you just don't know what happened? Oh my god. Yeah. Why do you talk about such things? Anyway, sweet. We I got thought you some... liked that bracelet so much. I know. Like, oh it was God. like what you just said. He farts and he those. whips around and looks at his butthole like, what was that? I know. He does that when I fart too. He's like, what? Jeez, now I'm just becoming like TMI. a TMI. <laughs> sweet. We got some rubber band bracelets and a... Here we go. Ah! <gasps> I think this person's team Nikki. Clearly team John. <laughs> Dear Nikki, you are the most awesome girl in the world. Oh, wow. I love your pranks, and my favorite prank was when you super glued John's ha hat to his head. This is off topic, but I had neck surgery one to five days ago. I watched your pranks, and it made me happy. Oh, I'm glad we could help make your recovery a little better. Yeah, get well soon. Yeah, thanks for being so funny. Now some questions. Nikki, how many pets do you have? I have four cats and a hamster. We have three dogs, three cats, four bearded dragons, an African leopard tortoise, a box turtle, and a fish. Did I leave anyone out? Lizards, turtle, tortoise, fish, cats, dogs. I think I got it. Yeah. <laughs> John, when It'd be did you sad like we just like start forgetting one of the animals off the list. I know. <laughs> John, when did you get Thor and Kenobi? Um, I got them when I was in college, in Colorado. Yeah. About a year apart. Mm -hmm. I got Kenobi first and Thor second. So what year? Like 2000? 2000... 2006, 2007. I graduated high school in 2006. 2008, in between there. Nikki, why are you so pretty? Ooh, <laughs> well that's nice, thank you. Um, I don't know. Just beat it, we beat I, it I into use, her every I day. I use good skincare products. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I hope you like the bracelet. I do. Thank you. Love, Lily. Thanks, Lily. P.S. Inside there are two bracelets. Uh, yeah, the red and the blue. The blue bracelet is for John. Okay, yeah, so the red is for me, you. blue is for you. And P.P.P.S. The pink and yellow bracelet is yours. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Lily. This comes from... Australia. Sender Corey from Melbourne. Wait, Melbourne. Oh, wait, we got this. I got. It's uh, yeah, not Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Like okay. Melbourne. I Melbourne. Think. Melbourne. You guys can just tell us how wrong we're saying it again. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll remember this time. Uh. Oh, fancy handwriting. To Nikki and John. Hi guys. My name is Corey, and I'm 16 years old. I live in Melbourne. I, f I feel like I'm saying I think right. they said like Melbourne. 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 Uh, Austria, I have been watching your pranks and vlogs and your game channel for a long time. John, keep it up. Mate, thanks. You're doing a great job. Sorry, Nikki, but I am Team John. Haha. -ha. For reals? Good. Yeah, it just doesn't know how to spell my name. <laughs> it's J-O-H-N, not J-H-O-N, but that's fine. I don't spell other people's names. On a right picture, either. it says J H O N, doesn't it? Though. Yeah. When we had that photographer make those pictures for us. Yeah, he misspelled like all the words. Mm -hmm. in the well, background. like, well, you can't be too nitpicky when someone does something for free. No, but you have you guys ever been to Australia? We haven't. We would love to. It'd be amazing. I would like to kind of tour that whole air Pacific, like Indian Ocean area, Pacific, yeah. whatever it is down there. Uh, but I would like to go to Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, Japan. China maybe, maybe not. It was on my list of places to go, but with all the recent stuff happening in China, I might not go My there. friend lives there, though. Australia is a great country, and you guys would love it. I went to America last month, and I loved it. The states slash cities that I went to were Los Angeles, California, Las Vegas, Nevada, Mexico, and New York. Anyways, I just wanted to send you all a letter and tell you guys that you are awesome. Cool. Uh, well, 
Los Angeles is cool. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is really cool. It's kind of like the place that everyone in the world wants to visit. The lights, the casinos, the buildings. I did not know that. Uh, yeah. When I was in Jamaica, one of the Jamaicans said it, said it was his dream to go to Las Vegas. I yeah. was like, huh, that's a destination? And he's like, oh, is it really like in the movies with all the lights? Yeah, that's my friend uh, Catalin from Romania who I stayed with. I went and when I was in co uh, high school, I don't know if I told you guys this not, I went to Romania and stayed there for a week, and we actually stayed with um, some high school students and their families, and it was an amazing experience. Um, but Catalin, the the boy I was staying with and his family, his dream, like, his dream was to go to Las Vegas, and he wanted to see the lights. And I was like, like, really? You want to go to Las Vegas and see the lights? Like, there's so much more cooler stuff in America, but that is, I mean, it is really something special. <laughs> Thanks for the pranks, the vlogs, the mail vlogs, and the game videos. Could you please put this in a mail vlog from Corey? Thanks, Corey. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy Australia. Is it warm and sunny there all year like it is here in places? There probably are cooler places like mountains, right? Didn't we just Yeah, well, that? like geographically. I'm, Australia is huge. Right. It's almost the size, same size as America. So you think like up top would be warm and down lower would be a little colder. But you guys can tell us. Do 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 do. This letter comes from T. First name was an initial on here. Call me T-Bone. Hi, Nikki and John. I'm 14, going to be 15 November 30th. I love your pranks and vlogs. I'm from Illinois. I watch your videos all the time. I think your pranks are really funny. I think Nikki is really pretty, lol. I hope you guys read this in the mail vlog. My favorite prank is probably the first time you shaved John's head, lol. Well, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys see this. Have a good day. From God bless, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. This next letter comes from Max Parker in Fort Collins, Colorado. Ooh, you live there. Yeah, I actually live pretty close. My area code was 80526, and his is 80525, so he's like a two or three miles away from me. But Fort Collins is a cool place. I, you know, I lived there for, oh, uh, I guess I lived there for about a year and a half. But, I mean, it was fun. But I then you it. loved me so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dear Nicky and Johns, my name is Max, and I was born in Minnesota. Woot, woot! I would like to say I am Team John. Sorry, Nikki, but John's pranks are like a million times better. Whoa! I've been saying this for years. First of all, your pranks only seem better because I That's have way more for personality now. than you. Sorry, the letter was short, but hopefully you will be hearing from me soon. Max, age 10. P.S. I love your pranks. My favorite prank is the scorpion prank. Wow, Max. Well, for a 10-year-old, you have amazing handwriting. So, I don't know possible that maybe your mom wrote this because it looked really 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 good thanks for writing max thank you max this next letter comes from ariana <laughs> not to be confused with areola what dear nikki and john i just wanted to show you guys this because i thought it was funny that at my school the fellowship FCA meeting paper was a picture of you guys doing the chubby bunny challenge wow that's awesome I had to take it off the wall and sneak it in my backpack lol <laughs> I go to uh, Paka, a Popka middle school and are you guys doing okay you haven't made a vlog in a long time. Well, that was probably, this letter's probably from a while ago. But yeah, we're doing just great. Thank you. Still got all four of our legs. Four of our legs. Well, you've got two, I've got two. I love you guys from Ariana Taylor. I remember the first video I saw of you guys was the super glue hat one on John. Then I got hooked and I've been watching your videos since 2012. Cool. Love you guys again from, again, Ariana. Well, thank you so much, Ariana. Thank you. Oh my gosh, FCA meeting this Friday in the fan room. That's so funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's really funny. I remember when we took that picture, you were like, what are you doing back there? And I was like, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I wanted you to like be in it. And then you're like, I'll just be in the background because I wanted Sideways. you like right next to me. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Comes from Jess in San Francisco. This letter is actually from November. Like we're really sorry it took us this long. I think this, these are the last letters. Yeah. Well, so, we have a couple. We have one more mail vlog, but we're getting a new PO box at the end of the month, and we'll you know we'll post all the info and all the stuff like that. But we are really sorry that it took us 
so long to get to some of this stuff, but just like holidays and moving and all that stuff, it just... Well, we're getting more letters now, too, it so... It catches up with you. Or we were getting a lot of letters. Mm-hmm. Dear John and Nikki. Wow, look at that handwriting. Hi, hi. You guys are cool. You are a lucky man. I have some questions for you, but uh, first, a story. Question one... Questions are on another paper. Once upon a time in San Francisco, there lived a girl and had a brother. One day, the big brother found a girlfriend, and the little girl was jealous that her because they would ignore her and make her feel bad. They would always look at themselves, lock themselves in the room, and wouldn't come out. The little girl felt lonely. One day, the little girl had found her toy glitter lamp that she had lost. She put new batteries in it, and it worked. But... Then she, when she was at school, the big brother broke it. Aww. He wouldn't even buy her a new one. But I know that if he ever broke his girlfriend's thing, he'd be like, I'm so sorry, I'll buy you another one. I love you so much. Life sucks for me. Aww. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's so sad. There's a picture of her Aww. banging on the door in complete silence. That is really bad. But that's part of growing up. You know, you grow and mature and develop and you start to develop feelings for other people you know and you want to be with somebody but we're really sorry that your brother broke your lamp oh i was supposed to read this uh, was it a true story or was it well it says it sucks to be her so oh. <laughs> omg 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 dear nikki and john you guys are awesome how is john i'm kidding i don't care you're awesome my name is jessica and i've watched so many of your videos this is my first ever time writing you guys and you guys are so awesome and so cool. P.S. John is awesome. Cool. Is that it? it um, well, there's some questions on here. Oh. All right. Questions. Should I care? Uh, maybe. Depends what you want to care about. About her lamp? Or yeah. about her brother's girlfriend? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I guess. I, oh, should I? What should I do? Should I care? What should I do? Do I tell him? Do I ignore it? Should he have bought me a new one, Jessica? Um, well, honestly, in my opinion, where I come from, when you break somebody's stuff, you buy them a new one. Um, but I could understand if your brother is kind of being a D-bag, because I have a brother who was a D-bag, and he broke my stuff growing up, would never buy me new things. And of course now he'd be like, oh, I'm sorry for doing that. But he was a total douchebag when I was a kid. Him and his friends would just beat me up, take my stuff, break it. Um, but unfortunately, I think that's just kind of how it goes. But you should talk to him and tell him how you feel, you know, and how it affects you. And that, you know, you're really unhappy and you really like that lamp. And I don't know, I just think that's kind of important. But part of growing up is, you know, like with his girlfriend, he sounds like he's probably a little older. Like, yeah. just maturing, getting into his own things. You shouldn't have broke your lamp, though. That's mean. Yeah. Least, well, maybe it was The an least accident. you should have done is... Maybe the, it was an accident. Yeah, it could have been an accident. But you should have just taken your batteries. So here's a couple of pictures. This is a picture of her mom with a tiger. Whoa. That's cool. And her brother on a horse. And then there's another family picture here of everybody. So, cool. And it's cousin, granny, me, cousin, brother, and mom. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for sending us all of this awesome stuff. I hope you get your lamp figured out. And I'm sorry if it's been a while since we answered all of your letters. But thanks for watching, guys. I am John from Nikki and John the Vlog, Mail Vlog, saying give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video, and don't forget to comment on your chance to win a space shuttle. Well, well, we will.